Hey guys, welcome back to new video tutorial on navigational component. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a bottom navigational bar using navigational component. As you can see, our bottom navigational bar contains three clickable item menu, which help us to navigate between different fragments or panels. And the main reason to use navigational component is a single activity app, which Google highly recommends it for two reasons. First, it's very lightweight. Second, it's very performant. A single activity app means that you will have only one activity per application that will hold a container to host other fragments. So whenever you click at any items in the menu, a fragment that is associated with that item will be hosted in our nav host fragment, in other words, container. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so once you have created your new project, you need to go to activitymain.xml and in here you need to delete this default text and search for bottom navigation view and then simply drag it to there. And if you get this error, you need to include our Android material design dependency. Just click on OK. So once your app is synchronized, just close that for a moment and then click on split mode and then close this for a moment so that we will have space to work on. So first you need to add an ID and the ID would be bottom navigation view and then for the width you need to have match parent and then for the height you need to have wrap content and then you need to add a background color and I will pick white and delete these two and add constraint bottom to the bottom of parent and then constraint right to the right of parent and constraint left to the left of parent and later on we will add our menu once we create that so once you have this you need to add our navigational graph and to do that you need to go to resource manager and then go to navigation and then click on that and then create a navigational resource file and you need to call it my nav and then click on okay if you get this error you need to implement some dependencies so just click on okay all right so once you have your navigational graph you need to add three destinations in other words three fragments you need to click on this plus sign and then create new destination and then call your first fragment as dashboard fragment and click or untick include fragment factory methods and click on finish. So once you have this, um, put it there and then create a new destination and we will call this profile fragment and then unclick this and then click on OK. So once you have your profile fragment, just put it next to it and then we need the final destination, which is settings fragment and then unclick that and click on OK. All right. So once you have these three fragments, just put it in one line because these are our top level fragments and to style them really fast, you need to go to project and then open app and then resources layout as you can see you will have three fragment layouts so go to dashboard and then split the screen and remove this and type dashboard and the text size would be 30 sp and you need to add some constraint to it but first you need to change this frame layout to constraint layout and then you need to add constraint top to the top of parent and then constraint left to the left of parent and constraint right to the right of parent and constraint bottom to the bottom of parent and the reason this does not move you need to change the width and height and make it wrap content as you can see we were able to place it in the middle of our layout so once you have that you can pretty much copy this and paste it in our two fragments and then go to split mode and then change this to constraint layout and just paste it here and change this to profile and the reason that we have errors is because we don't have our space name so to import that you need to press alt shift and enter as you can see the error is gone so we need to repeat that for the other fragments so go to fragment settings and then split mode and change this to constraint and then you need to paste it here and change this to settings and just as we did alt shift enter to import our namespace so once you have that you just just close these because we do not need them anymore and you need to go to mainactivity.xml and in here you need to search for nav host fragment and this is the container that we talked about so you need to drag it to the middle of our layout and then you need to click on our navigation graph which is my nav and then click on ok and once you have that you need to add some constraint to it and have a top constraints and change it to zero and have your bottom constraint to zero as well and then split the screen 
and for the width you need to have match parent and for the height you need to have match parent as well so once we have our navigational graph ready and we have our nav host container and we have our container now we need to add few items to our menu and to do that you need to go to resource manager and then select menu and then create a new menu resource file and call it bottom menu and click on ok and once you have that you need to add three menu items so just drag this and put it there so this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one and do not worry if you see it like this we will change the style and put it on the bottom navigation bar so we'll split the mode and now you have three items so the first one is dashboard the second one is profile and the third one is settings and it would be nice to have three icons or vector assets go to drawable and then create new vector asset and then for the dashboard just search for this would be nice and then click on ok and change this to dashboard and click on next and then finish create a new vector asset search for person and this would be for profile and click on next and then finish and we need the last vector asset which is settings and click on ok and then change this to settings and click on next and then finish so to add the icons or vector asset and then select dashboard dashboard for the first one and for the second one select profile and the last one is icon and then settings and then the trick is to add an id however the id name should match the fragment id so if you go to my nav and as you can see we have three fragments and then split it as you can see we have three fragments the first fragments id is dashboard fragment so we should copy this and paste it here so we should have equal ids for every item this way we can tell our navigation component that we are referring to that fragment so for the second one is the id you need to go to my nav and then the second one is profile fragment and then you need to paste it there and the third one is id and then go to my nav and then select this copy that and then paste it here so once you have this just close this to have more space and then you need to go to main activity.xml and in here you need to add your menu and the menu is bottom menu so as you can see we were able to import our item menus however i do not like this color and to change the color you need to go to project and then app and then resources and then values and then style and change these color to whatever color you like and in this case i will go with blue and then for the others i'm going to blue as well and if you run your app to see what we have as you can see we were able to change the color and we have imported our items however we are not able to replace the fragments that is associated to each of these items and you need to go to main activity.cotland and here you need to create an object of bottom navigation view and that would equal to find view by id and the type is bottom navigation view and the id is resources.id.bottom navigation view so once you have an object for your bottom navigation view you need to create another object for our nav controller and the nav controller is responsible to control of replacing the fragments to our nav host fragment so you need to call find nav controller and then you need to pass resources id of our nav host fragment id so that is fragment and to see this you need to go to main activity.xml and as you can see our nav host fragment id is fragment so this is how we tell the controller that this is our container and to make everything works together we need to call our bottom navigation view and then set up with nav controller and then you need to pass the nav controller and to see the result you need to run your app as you can see we are able to switch between the fragments however we are not able to display on which fragments we are in our app bar you need to create an object of app bar configuration and that would equal to app bar configuration and then you need to pass a collection of set of resources dot id dot um, dashboard fragment and then you need to add the resources id of the second fragment which is profile fragment and lastly is resources id dot settings fragment and we have an error because we need to upgrade our java virtual machine to 1.8 you need to go to gradle script and then go to build gradle module extension and just paste it there i'll definitely put this in the description down below so sync your app now 
as you can see our error is gone and now you need to set up your action bar with nav controller and then pass the nav controller and the app bar configuration this would makes it happen so run your app as you can see we are in fragment dashboard and if you go to profile if you want to change this go to my nav and then change the label so fragment dashboard would become dashboard and then profile fragment we will name it profile and fragment settings we will call it settings and if you run your app one more time to see the result as you can see we were able to change that to dashboard if you click on profile you have profile if you go to settings we have settings all right guys you have made it congratulations if this was useful please consider subscribing and click on the bell notification so that you do not miss on anything and see you guys in the next video happy coding